guys. So I'm starting my garden for the year. I haven't really started a whole lot yet, but I'll show you what I've got done. I am on my way to Lowe's because Home Depot doesn't have everything that I need in my area. I still have to drive like 40 minutes to get to the store. So we're about to load up, but this is what the start of our garden looks like. Going to get some old castle stones. They have the slots in the sides that hold two by sixes. I will have them stacked two on top of each other so that these will be, um, it'll be two separate garden beds, um, four feet by eight feet, another four feet by eight feet. So in total, it'll be four by, by 16. And so... I've measured this out five feet by 20 just so there's no weeds growing around it. We'll try to center around there and then I will buy some plastic netting, some fencing to go around it and hopefully keep these birds out of this garden bed until um, it is going to um, mature and grow and preferably um, prosper. Lots of vegetables this year. Um, I was going to buy some 2x12s, but my husband said not to do that because I have a lot of wood right here, um, and we should be able to piece some things together. I'm not sure. Um, he's not home, and um, I don't want to drive with wood sticking out of the back of my truck, so I'll just get the basics done, and then he can go and pick up whatever wood I need later on. I just want to go and pick up what I can pick up because... Why not? I have been waiting for him to help me with this, but he's so busy all the time, and I'm just ready to get it done. I want to do it myself, and that's what I'm going to do. So I got 12 of these blocks. I have 8 of this Scott's Topsoil Lawn and Garden Soil Conditioner. This is like less than $3. Then I got this Black Cow, cow Manure. This is like five something, almost six dollars. And then I'm gonna get some of this topsoil. And this topsoil is $2.48 a bag. I'm gonna get 24 though. So eight, eight, and 24. I'm gonna mix in this conditioner with this topsoil. And then at the very top of my garden, I'm gonna put the black cow on the top. Good morning, last time I spoke with y'all, it was Sunday and there was no bed here. I went and got all these bags of soil this is some soil conditioner this is the soil that i'm using uh, timberline some scott's soil conditioner and then some black cow compost um the only problem i'm having right now is there's a gap under the two sides of this board that means i need to use this pick and get out some of this dirt just so that it's level um i was going to make two beds that were four by eight but my husband had some uh two by sixteens so instead of making eight foot beds we just went ahead and made 16 foot beds which is great so i have some extra of these blocks to make some other beds coming off them these blocks are great they're called old castles because you can have beds going in four different directions because of these slots but i have somewhere to be at in about an hour so i have an hour to kind of level this out it's just got like a hump in the dirt right here so i'm just gonna pick away at this area and hopefully soon our wood will sit better in these blocks because I've got about two or three inches of height on each side. It's not perfect, but it is a lot lower than it was. And I'm exhausted already. You can see it took it down about an inch. But this side over here is, um, it's off the ground too, if y'all can see that. So, I'm going to get some water, and then I'm going to go head on to my appointment. I have plans to go to Baton Rouge to meet a woman with some rabbits. Um, they are paying me to meet them because it is out of my way. 
I don't usually um, meet people with rabbits, but because she asked and offered to pay a travel fee, I told her I would, and then she decided that she wanted two instead of one, which makes it even better. These are not my rabbits. These are a friend of mine's rabbits, but every time I sell a rabbit that belongs to her, she gives me $10 off of the price. So, those, that $20 plus the travel fee that the lady paid me makes it worth it. She actually paid me a little extra for working with her. So, she paid the travel fee plus a little extra, which is nice. Alright guys, so this past weekend, my children and I got the soil put into my raised garden. And then just now, I put in my tomatoes. I have six tomatoes. These are early girls. And then I have these peppers. The jalapeno was not topped. Topping just means you take off the top Y and your plant is supposed to bush out. Um, but it's already flowered and my husband really didn't want to um, top his, but I did top the giant macaroni sweet pepper and the habanero. Um, the sweet pepper is something that I got because my daughter really likes sweet pepper, so hopefully this turns out really good. Um, I just got a lot of seeds from Baker Creek um, Rareseeds.com, and I'm really excited to um, get those planted soon. I'm not sure what's going to happen because we're supposed to get some severe weather, and I'm kind of worried about... Um, these plants being like washed out or something in this garden i'm not sure but if i have any issues i can just lay something flat um and solid over this maybe some boards or something i covered it with cages because we do plan on putting like some fencing around this garden bed but i haven't got to that yet it's been so busy um and then i I'm hoping that nothing gets in here and eats my peppers, but I have no idea what's going to happen with that. So, I didn't have any more cages. The other cages that I have have some seeds planted in them so the chickens can't scratch them out. Um, the seeds that I have planted already outside did go through a freeze, and then it, it rained really hard on them. So, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but I wanted to finish up this video for y'all. Thank you for watching. It has been probably two weeks in the making of this. We have just been so busy and everything, so thanks for watching. Y'all be blessed. Bye. Finally, finally got this baby on a bottle. His mama left today, so thank God, because she's not here. It's not like he was eating from her anyway. She didn't have any milk. Um, she went to a great family. Prayerfully, she um, produces the next time she's bred. Um, they got her fully knowing what was going on with her, that she wasn't producing, that she had worms previously, and she has been treated. Um, this baby has just drank four ounces. He was hungry.